Hello students, welcome to my channel Bible Zone. So in this uh, class, I will explain uh, the characteristic features of Anemophilus flowers. In the last class, I have told you about uh, pollinating agents and uh, wind is an abiotic agent. If pollination occurs by wind, is called as anemophily. Let us uh, discuss the characteristics of Anemophilus flowers. Once again, I will repeat, pollination occurs by wind is called as anemophily. So flowers are small and inconspicuous. The first character of Anemophilus flowers, they are small and inconspicuous, means not uh, uh, attractive because wind is an herbatic agent. And uh, these flowers are colorless, odorless and nectarless. Nectars means uh, the glands which are going to produce nectar, they are absent. Once again, the same region, the herbatic agent wind, that's why the flowers are colorless, odorless, nectarless. Next, pollen grains, they are light weighted, small and winged. Example, pines. You know, in pines, the pollen grains are winged. Specific example for winged pollen grains seen in pines, a member of a, a Coniferopsida class. And these pollen grains are non-sticky and unwettable. And uh, stigma is uh, hairy and feathery. So it is uh, shown in the Diagram. You can see the diagram. It is a flower of a, a grass which shows feathery stigma and versatile anthers. And uh, they may be branched. Pollen grains are produced in large number. Uh, the two examples I have mentioned here. One is cannabis. Uh, this plant uh, flowers produces. 5 lakh pollen grains. Likewise, maize plant uh, produces 20 to 25 million pollen grains. You see the uh, enormous uh, number of pollen grains are produced by these uh, plants. Next, uh, anemophily is a uh, highly wasteful process because uh, it is uh, non directional, it means the number of pollen grains are wasted. The region is what? Non-directional. The anemophily is non-directional. So that's why number of pollen grains are get wasted. So this is all about uh, the important characteristic features of anemophilus flowers. In the next class, we'll discuss about uh, antemophilus flowers. And you know very well that uh, if pollination occurs by insect is called as antemophily. Thank you for watching the video.